it's about 5 25 30 i just got into milking um this is our longest trek we are actually compared to where we are all right you see kind of we're on the back side of the little barn and the two greenhouses the house and the barn and over here by the garden uh, this is our permanent fence and of course over there is our temporary you can kind of see uh our other cows laying down over there we did leave all let it focus we did leave all our cows in the temporary fencing last night which was the first time uh they did great no damage to the fence they're doing good uh the only one we didn't put in there was elsa she was with them yesterday but i brought her back into this permanent fence and this is my longest trek uh from a paddock to milk um i have to go through one two three this is the third four five through the back channel paddock to the actual um dairy dairy paddock so it's about six or seven paddocks I actually walk through um but hey she did great it's just a long walk for me but she's finishing her dairy feed right now and then i'm gonna put her with the rest of the cows for the rest of the day but she's doing great everybody's doing good i just want to give you an update on the cows we did leave them in the temporary fencing last night um, one good thing is the bull is kind of set right by the entrance so i hope that that's kind of inter uh, deterred anything from coming because he's the biggest one and he sat right there by the little entrance you can see him kind of laying right there beside where the corn and sunflowers are kind of finishing up so it's doing good everything's going great we're actually fixing to load up and go uh we have a little lake by our house um well it's not not the lake not our lake but there's a little state park lake that's got some campground areas we're going park our camper there for two days we have never used this camper um like i said we just want to make sure it all works before we go to the frat family hoot nanny uh and of course some other events that we're going to we're going to try to go to bruzard's bash uh the stead bash in lake charles next week as well so we just want to take it so we're going to go hook it up today um but we had to get some chores done before we did that um and then we're, i'm gonna come back every morning and milk because it's only about 15 minutes away so every morning i'll leave there and then come back and milk and then go back but I uh, just want to show you the paddocks are doing great. Um, like I said, don't say you can't walk a cow. Look, look at this is what's so cool. Look at this. Okay, Th this gate. I didn't think this gate out right. I should put this gate, which is right here. I should have put the gate right there. Uh, ignorant me did not do that. I put the gate down here because I was thinking loading and unloading might be easier right there, which it is. But I wish I'd have put a gate right there. So when I cross these cows. It's always a challenge. I've 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 had my bull and um, the little Angus that I gave a shot to, of course, or have to get a shot to. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> they they struggle. So what I did is, you know, they they're scared of poly tape because they've been hit about so many times. Look at this. I got one strand of poly tape that's not even on around the bumper of my Ranger, <laughs> like this, and I leave it tied, and then I just drop it and put it on the ground until I use it. So that right there that right there will keep all four cows i can walk all four cows with a bucket in front or me behind them and they'll follow all they'll follow this line get in front of the ranger straight to the paddock awesome it makes it so much easier so it's done really well so we're happy about that and like i said uh cows are repetitious so we try not to change the routine and it does benefit so um, we're gonna go ahead and finish our morning out and then we'll get started We're gonna show you us loading up the camper and getting everything set and then going to the little campground and uh, hopefully having a good few days out there Just watching the camper uh, making sure it works right and making sure we understand how to use it. So um, We'll finish in a little bit All right, we are starting our journey. Mommy is bringing a vehicle behind us, but JJ's over there asleep Or he's going out crying now. So other than that, we're getting ready to go on our journey all right, we have made it. Baby's still asleep. We've been watching the Hollers and Justin Rhodes and I think White House on the Hill is on now. So, but we're home for the next two days. I do have to go back and milk every day uh, just because that's something we have to do. Uh, so I'll drive back and milk. This is not far from our house, about 20 minutes. So I'll drive and do that. But uh, the kids are playing with uh, water guns, having a blast. So. Mommy's hopefully just to be here soon.
right, we have stayed two nights uh, at the campground. Again, I came home, I had to milk, so I'm just getting everything closed up from milking. I'm, I'm done milking for the day, so I'm gonna feed the rest of the animals, uh, go back to the campground for the rest of the morning. We're gonna make breakfast again, and then we'll be heading out. The camera's done well, so I think we're ready for uh, the events that we're gonna go to this year. Um, but we should have a video on that too because the kids had a blast. Uh, we went fishing and, and grilled out and we watched it rain a little yesterday But uh, sometimes it's good just to be able to relax with the family. So um, we're gonna finish up here Get the milk poured up She did good this morning. It's been raining here this morning. So I had a I couldn't feel any of that So uh, but I'm gonna get everything closed up here and then we'll head back to the campground. What would we supposed to do? Fish. Fish? Fish? What did we just eat? We ate our eggs, our daddy's cousin's, um... Butchered hog. Yeah, sausage. And we ate, um... Bacon's homemade biscuits. Mommy's homemade biscuits with our milk and our butter and our honey. That was good. So, right now we're just going to go fish. We're getting ready to go now, get everybody uh, their fishing poles ready. Last time we fished as a family, we didn't hook a fish, we actually hooked Ellie. <laughs> Ellie got hooked by a younger sister, Saley. So, so hopefully we're going to catch a fish and not uh, each other. Ain't that right? We had a good getaway. It was just, it's always nice to just get away and take a break. Did you have a good time, Aiden? I did. I had a really good time. Did you have a good time, girls? Yes, I did. Yes, yes, yes. So we're all loaded up and we are ready to get back home to the homestead, make sure everything's okay, and gonna finish up our afternoon tour. So. Happy, Happy homestead! homestead.